And how do you build your reputation in a new country? Well, the Cartiers believed you built it by having the best, having the best quality products out there, having the best gems, having the best jewels. So obviously pearls was right up there with the best gems and they had this double-stranded pearl necklace that was considered, I think it was meant to be at the time, the most expensive one in the world. And this double-stranded pearl necklace was valued at a million dollars. That's a million dollars in 1916, so you can only imagine how much that would be worth, you know, relatively today. This young client spotted this double-stranded pearl necklace in the windows of, of Cartier. Her name was Maisie Plant, and the story goes that what Maisie wanted, Maisie got. And Maisie decided she wanted this necklace. She mentioned it to her husband, Mr. Morton Plant, this businessman, who was in fact a friend of Pierre Cartier. And as chance would have it, Morton Plant wanted to sell his New York townhouse at that time and his townhouse was on Fifth Avenue. And it was interesting because Fifth Avenue had been a residential street and it was increasingly becoming commercial. So he decided that he didn't want to live there if there were gonna be shops there. So he wanted to sell it. And the townhouse um, was valued at a million dollars as well, the same price as the pearl necklace. So Pierre Cartier suggested they do a swap, the necklace for the townhouse. And that is exactly what they did. And then Pierre Cartier went in there with architects and transformed this, this townhouse into into the Cartier New York headquarters, where it still is today. And Maisie Plant got her necklace. And it was a brilliant trade for Cartier, because if you just consider over the years how the values of, of you know, pearl necklaces and, and a building on Fifth Avenue has diverged, I think it must have been one of the best business deals of the century.